Do you wanna get more clicks on your videos? Well, did you realize that a well-designed thumbnail can actually have a huge impact on how well your videos perform? In this video, I'm gonna show you two super simple and quick ways to make custom thumbnails for YouTube videos. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Film School for Marketers. I'm Zach, and today we're gonna to be talking about custom thumbnails. Truth is, when I got started on YouTube, I had absolutely no clue what I was doing with thumbnails at all. I was just grabbing randomly generated screenshots that YouTube would suggest to me, and I thought maybe if I just grabbed one that looked kind of exciting, that it would work, but it turns out that wasn't the case. And over time, I began to perfect my method for designing thumbnails and what they needed to include. Those elements are, number one, a person, or a product that you're gonna be talking about throughout the video. So if there's one person who's gonna be talking, for instance, myself in this video, I'm gonna put myself in the thumbnail. It paints the expectation for what the viewer is going to see. Whereas if I was talking about a specific product, let's say a camera or a computer or something like that, I might put a picture of that in the thumbnail. And the second thing you must include is big, high contrast, bold text that is easy to read and easy to see. So you wanna use high contrast colors, whether that's black on white or red on blue or something that's going to stand out. You wanna use anything you can to make sure that it's high contrast and that it's legible in a variety of sizes that YouTube is gonna display it in. With these two criteria in mind, let's talk about how to design those. We're gonna jump into Photoshop, which is obviously professional photo editing software, but I'm also gonna show you how you can design custom thumbnails for free using a Chrome extension called TubeBuddy. So let's get into it. Boom, scene change. All right, guys, today this is the thumbnail we're going to be making. Uh, this nice bald guy with a beard, uh, some high contrast text, how to make custom thumbnails. Let's get into it. First, we're gonna start in Photoshop, so we're gonna need a custom canvas 1920 by 1080. We're gonna drag on a still frame from the video right here. It's already 1920 by 1080, so I don't have to resize anything. I like the way this looks, so I'm not gonna edit the photo at all. We're just gonna leave it how it is, but I'm gonna start to add my boxes in here. Bada boom. All right, our next box is going to be how to make. By the way, this isn't a Photoshop tutorial, so I'm moving really fast, but I'm just showing you how I do this in Photoshop. And bada boom. It was literally that quick. What did that take me, two minutes? Less than two minutes. So we're gonna duplicate that same exact process after I show you how to export this. So we're gonna go to File, Export. We're not gonna do quick export as PNG because more than likely you're gonna have a file size that's too big for YouTube. So instead we're gonna save it as JPEG. So export as, format, JPEG, 1920 by 1080. We're not gonna mess with the quality. It's 494 kilobytes right now, which is a perfect file size. Export all to the desktop. We're gonna save it as custom thumbnail. Yes, replace that and we're done. So now that we've got this, let's take it to YouTube. If you're in the, the, uh, the video dashboard, you're gonna see two buttons. One is custom thumbnail. So this is how you upload something that you've just designed, like the one we just did. So we could upload that. As soon as that's done, it's gonna set that as the thumbnail, okay? But let's say you wanna do this in TubeBuddy. By the way, TubeBuddy is a free Chrome extension. You can get to it. I'm gonna put a link in the description. You don't have to have the paid account to create custom thumbnails. You just need to install it. So we're gonna click on create thumbnail. We can grab a still frame or an image. So technically I could upload uh, the, the still image that I have, but we're just gonna take a still frame from this video. Do you wanna get I could grab anything from this entire video, but we're gonna go with that very first one with the goofy look on my face. If I wanna do adjust it at all, I could. We're gonna, we're gonna go with that one there. And here I can do the, almost the exact same thing I just did in Photoshop. So we're gonna start adding our shapes. Now we start to add our text. And there we are. It's not exactly the same, but it's pretty dang close. Now we can hit continue. And this is the cool part about using TubeBuddy to do this. Once you're done with it, it's gonna show you a preview of what it's gonna look like next to other videos that might rank for that same kind of search. So 
that's pretty neat. But then also we can look at how it's going to look on Facebook. So if you take this YouTube link and you post it on Facebook, it's going to grab a square out of the thumbnail. Now, generally what I've noticed is that the algorithm picks wherever the face is at within that thumbnail. So if you wanted to make it so that all the text fits in with the Facebook thumbnail as well, this is a good place to do that. But I've just shown you two very quick and easy ways to create custom thumbnails for YouTube videos. Well guys, if you enjoyed that video, hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to Film School for Marketers. There's two to three pieces of new content going up on this channel every single week, and we wanna make sure you get updates. And until we see you next time, keep learning.